camps at like eight years old and things like that. You, you don't even know what your kid's going to be, you know. And so um, do you find that you have to, um, to really pay attention to the, the youngster and, and make sure that their mind is where it needs to be when you have a parent who's a little overly involved, especially when they're coming to the coaches and going, why isn't my kid getting playing time? Why isn't Because sometimes those kids check out early mm -hmm. because they feel like they're doing it just because their parents are making yeah. them do it or whatever. You, I, I don't know. I just kind of, have you, have you been navigating some of that? Yeah, definitely. Like basketball is just different now, like way different. Mm -hmm. You can, you can sort out pretty quickly, like who really loves basketball. Like they're coming on lunch to shoot uh -huh. before school. Coach, can I stay after school? Hmm. And then you can kind of tell what parents are kind of living through them. Yeah. In a sense. <laughs> like, yeah. So it just, I mean, I rather coach kids that want to play basketball. It's easy. Uh -huh. they, they're coachable. They want to listen rather than, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, um, it can be certainly be difficult to navigate. So let's talk about um, when um, do you do you have? I guess you have uh, you have your girls during um, class period um, all year round, right? Yeah. So now um, our school does it a little different. So, okay. Uh, I only see them all, like twice or three times two to three times a week depending on the week because um we went to the schedule y'all aren't double blocked anymore no. oh no yeah well they are but okay. they don't let the coaches our school is a real small school it's like 750 kids oh, there. okay so like now the coaches can't be in the period like, really yeah, it's wild <laughs> okay when y'all practice so since we're not in season right, right now which we're about to start i think like october 15th yeah but i know it's coming up though yeah the 15th of yeah. october so okay. uh when season starts well, you have them adjusted. <laughs> you'll, you'll have them every day once once October yeah, 15th, right? But it'll be before or after school, which we haven't really decided. Exactly, okay. But yeah, so we kind of have to make accommodations, like either before or after school, since it's not double blocked anymore. Oh my gosh! You ain't no morning person, coach. You know you want that afternoon. <laughs> I rather I rather do morning, honestly. Oh, Get okay. <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I guessed wrong there. Yes. You're morning person. You're wrong. I see that. Nah, you, didn't, you didn't guess. You assumed wrong. Coach, I'm gonna go out in the parking lot and do a couple suicides. <laughs> How please. about that? Because that was. That was the wrong guess. That I should have gone the other way. Exactly. You, you're an early riser, and I guess you'll settle for the afternoon. I should have done that way. Yeah, Coach, I'm <laughs> curious, though. What's your coaching goal for your first season at LBJ? Coaching goal is definitely to win district because we're 4A now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was looking at the district around, and um, I think I think it's very possible to win district. So that is Maybe. our coaching goal for the basketball staff. That's just me and another coach. Wait, who else is in that district? For those who don't know, who, who else is in that district? We have uh, Lago Vista. I have to look again. Okay, no, no, no problem. <laughs> That's all right. I'm about to pull it up right now. Yeah, because so. what, what, Coach? I'm, I just want to know. Go ahead and say it. This your district. Let me get you to go ahead yeah, and say. I, I didn't want to be the one to say it, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you get you starting stuff? Yeah, I, I'm trying. Welcome to, to the world of Douglas. I, like <laughs> I like it. I like it. But the coach, uh, because I want your, I want your students. I want you to get a copy of this, and I want this to get to them, and I want them to have you back. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, you seem like I, I don't want this to be offensive because sometimes it is. You seem like a players coach that's the vibe i'm getting i am you don't seem like i like i made the joke to go outside and run suicides but i'm just being me you and i talked pre-production before we came on air you seem like you adjust the people mm -hmm. and if that's the energy all right we're gonna work with that energy and then i'm gonna corral it towards what i want mm -hmm. is would, would you say that's your your coaching style yeah like I'm, I'm gonna go to where you're at and then i'm gonna bring you with me like i'm gonna take you and bring you to where i'm at that's kind of how I look at it. And like I mentioned earlier, like the big sister mentality. Yeah. Some agree with it and some don't, but it works for me. And when it's time to adjust that, I will adjust that. And so when I say big sister mentality, I'm saying like, sometimes with your big sister, you don't always like her, mm -hmm. but you're always going to love her. And sometimes you got to listen to her. Yeah. Or You know what I mean? So I that's kind of the vibe that I, that I go with. <laughs> Why do you keep looking over here, bro? Because I'm very curious. I'm about to say something. <laughs> And uh, I want to get Corey mad. Not really, though. I can see him scheming over there, I know, bro. I see Coach, too. I want you to say this, though. LBJ women's basketball, y'all run that school, right? Y'all the most important program at that school? That, well, the football team is cold. There we go. Yeah. Like, real you got to put some respect on it. LBJ football team is cold. They got a cold coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that, Coach. Sorry. Just put that one. Does, does the football coach bring you lunch or anything? Football coach is awesome. He always helps. Does he bring you lunch? 
we ain't your friend then. <laughs> so you take no. The reason I ask that is because I'm I'm curious about this. Can can you poach? Like I know you I know you don't had the eye out. The, the girl on the volleyball team you trying to go get. She you know she about yeah. six four. You got a tennis player out there that moves well. And you was like, hey, if she can move laterally like that, ain't nobody. I mean, she we put. She could lock up guards. Yeah, like you that's just that? a coaching mentality. Okay. Like you just see a you know, see a player, soccer player, tennis player, even a chess player. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know what you yeah. So yeah. I definitely do that. But I, of course respect to the other coaches, wait till their season yeah. ends and then like at the game of the last you know, the very last game. <laughs> you hey, waiting? Uh, you waiting? <laughs> you at that game? Yeah. <laughs> just for that. Hey kid, you done? <laughs> Let's go to the gym. <laughs> I've, I've been curious though. Have you like been in the hallways and been like, "Oh, hey, who is that?" Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I teach English, okay. so my well, where my classroom is located is kind of like where everyone is, Ooh. like a common area. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pulling girls. I'm like, you know how to dribble? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, hey, here girl. Let me see. The, let me see your hand size. <laughs> let me see. Okay, you know, like getting kids to get physical. I don't know why that's yeah. such a a problem, like a issue right now. Generational. Yeah, I believe right. don't get Travis and I are from a different generation, but uh, don't get us. What started. generation was that? The kind that used to get home from school, throw your books down, and then somebody pull out a ball. Yeah, and you groove until Mama say come in. You, you even if you in your school clothes, you still trying to hoop because you know your mama nah, wants you see, to put on your that's play that's clothes. That's why I put the line. But I'm not gonna be hooping in no school clothes, bro. That's the difference. Nah, I, I just I'm not trying to look whack out there, bro. <laughs> I gotta put on my Kobe's. You got nothing else in the shoes. closet. You, you ain't got another shoe you could do? What you mean? It all depends, man. You Sometimes want me playing in Sperry's? I heard Sperry's. Yeah, you want he, me playing yeah, in Sperry's? Okay, so then, crazy. Travis, are you going to side with him or with me? Get a rolled when, ankle. When it happens, it just happens, right? Or do you say, nah, I got the on these kicks? The guy in can never shoot. The guy in the <laughs> in the church pants can never shoot. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, when I, when, I, when I was younger, it didn't matter what I was wearing. Thank you! That's fair. I understand. But you got hit the street. I'm not. I'm not. You know. That ball come out. But I. But I also. Like, but you gotta. I mean, look at me. I wasn't. I wasn't like Corey, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I rolled every day in Levi's and a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like so. Yeah. And then Papa Moe's. Something tells me Papa Moe's. Uh, he had y'all, out. He had y'all. He had y'all dressed. Well, right? my sisters. My sisters nice had me shoes. dressed. You know, I got bullied by them. I, I've so said what, this before. They could go tell your parents he needs some new shoes. Well, no, they just they just bully me like to my face so I can go tell my parents hey I need new oh. shoes cause my sisters are saying I, I look like raggedy or yeah. I'm not representing the family name so right. Carlos, yeah. what, what do you say about that I mean how do you help a kid I, I had a I had a fraternity brother who tell me that sometimes in gym there are kids that are in there in Crocs mm-hmm. and so their family may not be able to afford a real shoe so before you give that kid a hard time so coach is that something that maybe even you can consider? I'm just trying to get people to donate, you know, shoes and things like that. But have you even thought about that in your times? Maybe you heard from other coaches. Is that a consideration? Yeah, like as far as like clothes, like getting resources for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like honestly, we do the hand-me-downs. Like the senior class graduates. Oh. Where there's a few people, yeah, that that leave the program or whatever, they leave shoes behind, we sterilize them, oh, clean them, yeah. I like so, that. Yeah, I mean, I believe in giving back, especially when like you're just gonna sit there. I, I would I would leave with that. I'd be like, man, I'm leaving these shoes on the court and yeah. just walking <laughs> off. I you better have won the game. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah they're, they're cursed shoes. Nobody wants those. They blew Please. a 20 point lead. Please. <laughs> Coach, uh, uh, you know, you know, you don't know what your your, uh, your district is. All right, so it's Travis. Okay, yeah. great job. Taylor. Okay. Um, Northeast Early College. Old Reagan. Yep. Achieve. Achieve. Mm-hmm. And then East Side. And East Side, yeah. Huh. So I feel like we have a, a fighting chance. Austin yep. Achieve. Yeah. yeah. But, Lord have mercy. But wait, hold on, Travis. Yeah, Travis. They, they. Not anymore. But. Can't those? I'm gonna be stereotypical. What you about to say, bro? Can't those kids afford to their parents to send them to basketball clinics and things like that? But you know what's crazy? Camps during the summer. That doesn't matter anymore. Like they don't want to go. Oh. They want to stay home and they want to get on Instagram and do all that. Like I just don't hear about kids playing AAU during the summer. I don't hear about any of that. No, no. I I was at camps this summer, uh, (laughs) coaching and taking kids. And you're right. I remember thinking. There ain't a lot of kids here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're not packed. Yeah, We didn't exactly. hit capacity. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you just brought me back to that. 
Coach, we we uh, you, you've been doing a great job of uh, dealing with my shenanigans, <laughs> but I, I got to get to one other little thing. Okay. Behavior issues while coaching, and you trying to balance discipline with understanding. You seem like you're you're okay with me. You see, I'm a problem child. <laughs> do you have, do, is that hard to extend that to the the younger ones? Maybe with me, you're like, man, there's no help for him. But <laughs> yeah, you you're pretty easy to deal with so far. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, with behavior with basketball, I mean, if they're an athlete, it's easy to just get them to run and stuff. But with our numbers issues, like I walked into the program and there was two girls on the team. What? Yeah, mm. Two girls on the team that were like committed to playing. Dang, yeah, you do uh. recruit. Yeah, you so literally got to recruit. Yes. You have to recruit. Like if you don't, you won't have a team. And so, um, yeah, like you want to, there's a fine line. And I hope the girls don't hear this, but <laughs> there's a fine line. Like you got to be able to discipline, but also like you got to remember your numbers. <coughs> Yeah. You don't want to overdo it, and then they're quitting and all that. So, um, yeah, I hope they don't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> fine, we will find the fine line. That's you know what I mean? You got yeah. to balance. And so I'm, I'm pretty good at that. And the, the coach, the other coach, too, she's amazing. So, Coach, I I, I want to come back to one little item <laughs> that we that we uh, we kind of mentioned. I, I said that <laughs> Travis and I are from a different era. You said that nowadays – from what you're hearing and seeing from the old heads like us and other things, has coaching changed? Do you think coaching has changed since the kids have changed? Yeah, I'm sure Corey will agree too. Like <laughs> coaching, coaching athletics in general has just changed. Like everything, like you have to be a lot softer. Like we're having all these meetings about <clears throat> like the way to handle kids and discipline and grades and stuff. So it makes my coaching style a little different because when I was in high school, mm -hmm coaching like if you didn't you didn't do what you're supposed to do you were kicked off the team and like there was no looking back because there was someone to replace you mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's a lot different so you got to be nice <laughs> like to an extent she, travis you see what she tried to do there back in her day back in my day <laughs> did she just yeah, she, 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 she match y'all's vibe yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. graduated high school yeah. like a week before the pandemic <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> yeah that's, that's crazy Trying to that play the old card. That's crazy. A week before the pandemic. 2017. 2017. Yeah. Did you graduate? I was pushing 30. 18. I was pushing 30 <laughs> before you were born. So. I know. <laughs> yeah. did, you, did, you, did you hear that, coach? Yeah, we got. Okay. I just 2018, you get on him? No, we get on him. They do. They do. They do. They do. We get on him all the time. We do. We do. We do. Today is your day. But that's the thing I like the most because we get. Travis and I get a great, and I'm an East Coast dude, so then I get Travis no, not, bro. and his Southern you're flavor. You're all Coast dude. And then he's he's the youngest, uh -huh. and, and he played D1 track. He ran D1 track yeah. at ACU. Nice. And, and then he was a junior Olympian, okay. Corey. Hey, don't be sharing so my get, secrets. So we get like a that. lot of different vibes, yeah. so I do like it, but I love to get that young hey, when, guy vibe. When I played high school basketball, uh, my Nike Air Force Ones were first generation. Hey. Let's put it that way. <laughs> hey, how long were y'all shorts back then, bro? Uh -oh. oh no, Wait, they were very long. Oh, they were the short shorts. Uh -huh. Travis, yeah. because when you were in high, they were, were just college, they were just Michigan. beginning to get longer. Thank you. Okay, he's from but, the Michigan area. Because, because, okay, bad, bad, bad. Because I did wear a red neoprene brace with the top folded down. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, one leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Travis yeah, was yeah, about yeah. that action. <laughs> hey, let's talk about that, Coach. What's up? Oh my bad. Can, can can players <laughs> can players have a little style? You heard Travis. Oh, yeah. Can we get a little style? You look can, good. Can we get the Allen yeah. Iverson? Yeah, elbow braces. Okay. Okay. All they right. can wear they can wear stuff. On game day, There's no like dress up okay. and yeah, like I think if you look good, you play good. And swag is definitely something we we're bringing to LBJ for sure. Shoes, I, everything. I can, oh. I can use some purple tape. I can perp, I can tape these two fingers together. You, you <laughs> all right with that? Yeah, if you can dribble. <laughs> you can I, dribble. I gotta have a purple mouthpiece. If you, if that's what makes you happy and you can play well like that, go ahead. It's a lot of purple. You She's giving me a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of purple. It's a lot of purple. You guys. That's all right. I'm, I'm down. Up. You want yeah. some gold with that? Or <laughs> if, if, it, if it makes me feel good, which is what she said, it's then true I play though. It. Yeah. I can tell you it does. Purple and gold does feel good. Yeah. This is what he did there. <laughs> Cute dogs, man. Cute dogs. <laughs> oh, coach. Okay. One last thing. Mm -hmm. I don't play your sport. Okay. But I'm an athlete. Okay. And, and you know, somebody told me I should come out and check that out. You ain't got no patience to teach me the game, coach. Why not? Because I don't know anything. I'm athletic. That's got to be a challenge. You, you I mean, think you would like to take on that challenge? First yes. of all, do you believe that he's athletic? I, that's <laughs> I think he is athletic. Okay. I, don't Thanks, know, coach. I don't know if you can play basketball, though. Oh, like a, maybe a football guy. That's what I do. I, yeah, that is where I 
made it to the highest heights. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. He made it to the league. The league. The mm-hmm. NFL Europe League, though. <laughs> not not <laughs> NFL. You could probably play here in the Cowboys right now. Ah. Oh, Travis is from ah. there. He's a diehard fan, coach. I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. Oh, okay. You know, I'm, well, I'm pretty right. sick of it. Hey, you yeah. should be. She may, should have be. To, she may have to stick and stay. No, low key, low key, <laughs> low key, get that off real quick. We'll get to the Cowboys. Get that off. That's hilarious. But, but, but yes, yeah, like going back to basketball, like fundamentals. So we're doing things like watching the boys practice like yeah. i make them watch the boys practice because they have great coaching over there uh ray jackson's over there uh-huh legend that's yeah love ray. yeah fruit yeah he's over there so they have a whole bunch of great just mentorship over there going on right now we have some of the um like parents kind of chiming in and i don't know it's just a great vibe with the boys so we have uh i have them watching them yeah. and then uh watching film from last year watching different basketball yeah yeah, watching different uh, basketball, like WNBA. Want them to watch that. Um, yeah, just watching the game. You plugged in? I'm plugged in. To the W? Uh, yeah, like right. I, I, I'm more of an NBA girl. I'm not going to lie. That's like, fair. That sounds bad. No, that's but, fair. But uh, I did uh, – WNBA was hot this year. Like, it was yeah. – yeah. So I did tune in to a little bit of that. Yeah, I, I was I was watching a little bit of playoffs this past week. Yeah. Yeah, a little Caitlin Clark. Yeah. I like Connecticut Caitlin. Son. I like Caitlin. Hey, that elimination game was good. That was a good it game. Was, it was, that was a, a really was. good game. She she had a really good game one. She was yeah. But getting, yeah. them to, getting them to watch the intensity, that's what I kind of yeah. want. Right. Like getting them to watch the intensity, the like the love, the passion, all of that. So it's really important. Because we have to go way back to fundamental, like basketball one-on-one with this group that I have. Yeah. Well, I feel like the difference between like – that level and what I see on a high school basis mm-hmm. is just the physicality. Yeah. I mean, the W, like, them girls, they are physical, those women. They're physical. Um, and I feel like in the high school level, you may have to try to pull that out of them mm-hmm. to be physical. And so, I mean, I think that's a great example for them to watch that, to know that. And honestly, that's the best part of coaching is, like, instilling the mental toughness, like, watching them get to that level or coming out of their show and, like, becoming a basketball player you see the growth yeah. right from yeah. day one yeah that's that's the growth of basketball right because uh um the we always talk about the fundamentals mm-hmm. right but it's 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 not just building the fundamentals it's building the fundamentals and then being able to um withstand the challenges that a game brings because you watch a game there's a lot of non-fundamentals going on in exactly. basketball exactly. but being able to keep your fundamentals when you're getting bumped off the off the block when you're getting when you're getting uh arm barred yeah. when you're trying to do a crossover dribble and they j- and that guy just grabs your hip mm-hmm. and won't let Trash you go him. and and the refs refs just standing there like what you want me to stop him from stopping you you know it's <laughs> so it's it's holding on to those fundamentals yeah. in those times yeah. that that makes the game better exactly. so exactly but yeah coach Thanks for coming in. Thank you. This, yeah. this was fun. This was and that awesome. time flew. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. This so was awesome. We really enjoyed Thank it. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, Coach Milena Williams, uh, LBJ, women's basketball. We really appreciate you coming in. We want to have you back. Um, we'll get you back in during the season. We'll get you at least on the phone during the season. Let's talk about how things are going, all right? Awesome. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, good deal. All right, we need to get to a break. We'll come back on the other side right here on the Fans View, KAZI 88.1.